Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, Belen. I'm going to read to you the pirate substitute so that you can follow along. We read this in my office. Everyone was out of their desks and playing except for Jack. It was 8.05 and Mrs. Martinez still wasn't there. Which, which could only mean one thing, a substitute teacher. The door burst open and there stood a pirate. His peg leg thumped on the floor as he walked to the board. Me name is Pirate Chalkbeard, he said. He pulled back his sleeve, showing a long piece of chalk in place of a hand. The students gasped. <gasps> Pirate Chalkbeard wrote his name on the board. Everyone stared except Jack, who was busy drawing. Pirate Chalkbeard taught at lightning speed. In literature, he read to them from Treasure Island. In PE, they pretended the jungle gym was a pirate ship. In geography, he held up a giant map and pointed out the oceans. The students laughed and tried yelling, ahoy and scurvy dog. Pirate Chalkbeard thumped to the back of the room. What have ye here? What have ye there, young Jack? He asked. Have ye heard a word of mine all day? Aye, said Jack. Pirate Chalkbeard leaned over Jack's desk. He looked at the notebook, at his notebook, and then he looked at Jack. May I, he asked. Jack nodded, and Pirate Chalkbeard lifted the notebook and stared at it for some time. It was a drawing of a pirate surrounded by skeletons but putting up a wonderful fight. At last, Chalkbeard handed the notebook back to Jack. Arr, it's a beauty, the pirate cried. He wiped away a tear with his chalk hand. It left a white smear down his cheek. At last, he cleared his throat and stomped back to the front of the room. It is time to dig up me booty, he said. Your what, a boy asked. Me treasure, Pirate Chalkbeard said. He opened his chest and pulled out shovels. He held up an old map with a black X painted on it. The treasure appeared to be near the swings. To the playground, he cried. The students followed their substitute teacher out the door to the playground. The class started digging. Sand flew into the air. Heave ho, cried the pirate. Finally, they heard a clink as they hit something solid. They helped Pirate Chalkbeard lug out an enormous wooden chest. He creaked open the lid. Inside were pirate costumes. The class pulled them out in a rush. By the time Jack reached inside the treasure chest, there was nothing left. Pirate Chalkbeard winked took off his hat and set it on Jack's head. I was once a shy pirate myself, you know, he said. You were, Jack asked. Aye, the pirate said. Jack felt the brim of the large hat and smiled. Thank you, Captain, he said. Arr, you wear it well, Chalkbeard said. Remember, matey, it isn't the size of your voice that matters. It's the size of your heart. I'll remember, Jack said. Jack grinned. I know why it takes pirates so long to learn the alphabet, he said. Oh, said Chalkbeard, and why might that be? Because they spend years at sea, Jack said. Chalkbeard laughed. So we do, he said, and then he stroked his beard. We also get stuck on R. That's the end of the story. There is a glossary at the back if you want to go back and find those words in the story to make sure that you understand what they mean. And there were also some words in the front in the words to know box. And I would also like for you to find those words in your book 
And if you have a highlighter, it would be great if you could highlight them. If not, you could just take a marker and draw under it or a pen or something like that so that we can find those words in the book. And practice reading that at home and we'll have another chance this week at school. Thanks. Bye.